looks like it's right over there. Here in Vanier Forest, large housing structures can be found in the wooded area. The person living here says he doesn't want to leave. This is Adam and this is his home. He says he's lived here for about eight months and before this he was living under a bridge for five years. Tell us why you prefer living in nature. I always have really. So it's just it's more comfortable for me. A little bit more free, right? And here we have piles of garbage. And some Vancouverites are concerned about this precarious housing situation. Bike parts, more, more garbage. There's a propane tank there in the water. Alvira Lont is worried about the risk of fire. The city and the park board um, need to come in, confiscate all the propane tanks uh, so there'll be no cooking or, or heating of, of the uh, structures. And they're likely using wood for the structures, so that is highly um, dangerous. Um, and also a cleanup of all the garbage around here. Um, so th those are two things that could be done right away. Lont hopes the city can offer other living accommodations. I mean, if the city can't find housing right now for two people living in a park forest, you know, then what can they do? We asked Adam if the city were to offer him housing, if he would take it. If it's an SRO, no. I've dealt with a lot of things that go on in SROs. I'll try and help out as much as I can there uh, for the most part. I don't agree with them. He says he's lived in a single room accommodation before and says it's not for him. I just never see anything good come out of them. A spokesperson for the Vancouver Parks Board says bylaw allows for temporary overnight sheltering, but shelters must be taken down and moved by 8 a.m. each day. Temporary shelters cannot be within 25 meters of a playground or school or at beaches. But for now, Adam doesn't plan on leaving. Are you happy living here? Oh, very happy. Yeah. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.